What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. My name is Johan and today I'm bringing you guys a review of my new best friend which I have right here. So if you're like me and you're very active and very serious about your fitness lifestyle, then you might have at some point thought about getting yourself an activity tracker. Now either you want to get more serious or you just want to take more control of your overall lifestyle. This thing right here is a great tool to do that. So I have been looking around for some time now for activity trackers and well Fitbit is one of the most named brand that makes them. Now my issue with activity trackers is that most of them are a bit bulky and most of them are a bit expensive. And also if you happen to go for a cheaper brand, unreliable. So my search continued until I came across this new Fitbit Inspire HR. It has a very slim design and it also doesn't break the bank because this one right here only cost me about 89 euros. Now the fact that it is a cheaper model does not necessarily mean that it does not include all the functions that the other more expensive model do have. Now some of the features that it does not include are like controlling your music, paying with your watch and actually counting the amount of stairs that you climb. For some of you guys out there it might be a deal breaker but for me it wasn't. So if you're looking for an activity tracker that allows you to take a bit more control of your lifestyle without breaking the bank, then the Fitbit Inspire HR might be the one for you. So it is currently Sunday and I currently have about 5,000 steps, which means that I'm already halfway through reaching my daily goal of the 10K steps for the day. Now I recently heard from my girlfriend that that whole 10K stuff isn't really that accurate, but nonetheless, it is a good goal to have. And that is actually one of the main reasons why I actually got myself a Fitbit because, well, I actually realized that I wasn't being as active as I thought. So by carrying this around, I would actually be a lot more aware of how active I actually am throughout the day. Now besides tracking the amounts of steps that you have, you can also track your workouts. Now, over here you have running, you have biking, you have swimming, you have running on a treadmill, you have lifting weights, and you also have interval training. So I mean you have a variety of training modes you can use in order for you to be more accurate about your training and your lifestyle. But now the question is, how accurate is the Fitbit actually in tracking all of those training modes? So after wearing the Fitbit for some time now, tracking the amount of calories burned during weightlifting and during my cardio sessions, I can say it's pretty accurate. I usually burn around 300 to 400 calories during my gym sessions which is pretty good for a one hour session. I also used it to track my cardio sessions, which consisted mostly out of 30 minutes on the Stairmaster. Now the Fitbit does not have a designated function for the Stairmaster, but I was still able to track it using the treadmill option and I only saw a small difference with the calories on the machine and on my Fitbit. Now in general, I found the Fitbit to be on average about 200 to 300 calories off from your daily caloric intake. Now I'm assuming that if you have a more expensive model, it might be a bit more accurate than this. Next to that, you can track how much you slept and the different stages of your sleep so how much time you spend awake in REM light or deep sleep and what's cool about this feature is that you get little notes within the app telling you what each of these stages are and why they are important you can also track your weight loss progress log in the amount of water you drank that day or log in your food but to be honest I didn't use these functions since I just mostly use my fitness pal for that now one of the features that I really really like the most about the Fitbit is that you get hourly reminders to stay active so every hour you will get a notification reminding you to get your steps in this comes really really handy when you spend a lot of time behind your desktop at work or like me editing so this is really one of the features that I really, really enjoy the most about my Fitbit. You can also set up your alarm clock and set up a daily time for bed reminder when it's time to go to bed in order for you to get the hours of sleep that you need. Another feature included is the relax mode, which basically helps you log off for a bit and just relax during the day. Finally, you can also get Facebook, IG and WhatsApp notifications on your Fitbit device. But to be honest, I just ended turning that on because all that constant buzzing was getting on my nerves. But with each and every notification, you can see a little bit of the message on the screen and what the notification is about. 
All right, guys, so that is it for this review of the Fitbit HR. I have to say, I'm very happy with it. I wear it all the time, and it definitely has made me more aware of how active I am throughout the day, which in turn allows me to be more accurate with my fitness goals. Nowadays, you have so many different choices between smartwatches and activity trackers that picking one can be a very overwhelming task. But I think this one right here was a very good choice to start off. So with that being said, I'm gonna finish off this video right here if you have any questions whatsoever about the fitbit hr then let me know in the comments down below remember as always that i'm a certified personal trainer so if you're looking for an online routine a workout plan or a meal plan then hit me up on embeddedbodies.com all right guys so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like on this video and let me know what you think of in the comments down below all right so guess i'll see you soon later guys